Hello guys, this is Movie Lover and welcome to this Movie Lover world. Today we are going to recap a romantic drama movie titled Blue Lagoon. The Awakening. Emmeline and Dean, two teenagers from opposite cliques, must learn to survive. Sans technology or modern amenities, after they accidentally drift off to a remote island in the Caribbean. But before we begin please consider subscribing to this channel. Now without wasting any further time. Let's begin shall we. Emma is a standout senior in high school. Emma's classmate she Dean is outgoing and charming and everyone enjoys her. He is disliked by one of his classmates. The school held a spring tour on that day. At night the destination was a little seaside village. Emma was invited by a friend. Emma on the other hand initially said no, but then changed her mind. Emma and her friends went to a party the police were called to the party aboard. The ship where Dean was also present to see if there was any alcohol or cigarettes present. Emma fell into the river in the midst of the chaos. Dean noticed this and dashed down to help her. Dean had smoked before Emma told him to take her to the ship. He was frightened of being first so he wanted to wait for the cops to depart first and then they could return to the scene. The delivery was completed in one go. The cops immediately ordered the delivery to return to the shore. The most useful thing they could do was watch the ship leave at this precise moment it began to pour heavily and a massive wave slammed into them. They found themselves floating in the middle of nowhere when they awoke the next morning. Dean took his phone from his pocket he tried to call for help but his phone was completely saturated. Emma's phone is dead and the two of them planned to seek assistance from passing ships so they waited but they didn't see a single bird. Emma noticed that an island was not far distant from the horrible sight they intended to find a hotel once they arrived on the island but after a few hours of exploring they learned that it was an uninhabited island. Emma was a little scared. She made the decision to their return to the location where they had come earlier. And when the two returned they used the lifeboat to return. Their hope had disappeared and no one was aware of their whereabouts. Is it possible to get them back to the hotel? While the trainer was checking attendance when he learned that too. People had gone missing he alerted the authorities right away. The three of them together with Emma's parents and Dean's father arrived on the ship. They got ready to visit the small desert metropolis right away. Emma thankfully had brought some food with her after the two of them had done ingesting she left. They were intended to sleep for the night but look at me now I'm looking forward to tomorrow morning to explore every other option by utilizing the second day. No one came to look for them. Their phones are running out of battery and they are powerless to stop it. To think about the worst case scenario and determine whether or not to stay on the island and live to tell the tale. First, for the following few days they waited for their parents to come find them. They ate fruit on the island when they were hungry they erected a small tent to keep out the rain. Emma is still looking for assistance. She scribbled a giant SOS sign in the sand. She was on the other hand convinced that her parents would help her. Dean on the other hand was pessimistic because his relationship with his father was strained. He didn't have any friends so he assumed no one would notice him but he was wrong. The cops were continuously on the lookout for him. The cops were looking for them everywhere but I couldn't find them. Dean's father went so far as to charter a helicopter every day Emma's mother looked for them. The cops gave up after a month but Emma was still alive. The parents couldn't believe their precious daughter was still alive after all these years. Emma found that Dean was not a vampire. After spending a lot of time with him, she had a habit of taking things in. Secret, they uncovered a body in the sand that day. Emma was frightened. She was worried she'd perish on that dreadful island. Dean consoled her but it wasn't enough to help her at the time. They had intercourse for the first time all night and the girl was high. It would be a wild bet due to the length of the wager when Emma awoke the next day she couldn't see Dean everywhere. After a while, he was getting ready to bury the opposite skeleton when she found him. Digging a hole when he was younger he used to go to soccer practice. As a result the match at the manor house. He was being naughty with his mother, thus losing control and they had met by chance when he regained consciousness. 
his mother had stopped breathing. The dean resented not being able to attend his mother's tree any longer. Seek out food dean dash to the dunes. As he heard the sound of a jet planning to fire the signal cannon he requested assistance but when he saw the signal cannon was missing all he could do was stand there and watch the plane take off. They were disappointed to say the least. They were sitting on the sand at the moment talking about some cheesy stuff. After that they heard odd noises when the dean got up to have a look he noticed a black object. He killed it with a knife so they could eat meat for the first time in a long time. The two of them had constant sex every day day after day. They had always hoped that their parents would find them after a three-month search. Emma and Dean thought they were dead. That day despite the fact that they were alive, they discovered the lost object dropping down from somewhere while relaxing under a tree. After several months, they heard the sound of helicopters again when she looked up and discovered the monkeys had stolen their signal guns and sunscreen. Dean hurriedly grabbed his revolver and fired a shot into the heavens. It turned out to be a tourist helicopter. They were a couple. Many people questioned them once they were ultimately rescued. Reporters are baffled as to how it happened. They managed to survive on a remote island but when they returned to their normal lives Emma has a change of heart. He purposefully avoided the dean for no apparent reason. He was depressed yet he persevered. Throughout the festivities, Emma fell in love with him while dressed in his father's clothes and standing in the rain. And this is where movie comes to an end. Thanks for watching. Movie lover will meet you again with new story till take care.